Hey guys, Dan TV Performance Products. I'm bringing you guys a new video. Um, it's going to be relevant to the new crash bar we're releasing for the Toyota Corolla. Um, so we're going to be shaving this grill. I'm going to be cooking on that grill later. But this grill right now is what we're working on. So, if you look on the front of this grill, you'll notice that the honeycomb is closed off right here. And what's going on there is the factory crash bars and behind that. It's an aluminum piece. It's pretty big. It's pretty ugly. Uh, and so the OEM has elected to leave that closed so you can't see it. But what we're going to do today is we're going to do a process of shaving it, which you can kind of see I've started right here. We're going to open this up so that you can see the crash bar that I've, I've made. Um, we'll have some pictures of that uh, coming as well. Uh, but anyway, step by step on how to, how to open up this grill. Uh, first thing we're going to need, <clears throat> you're going to need some form of a grinder. Uh, just I use a flap disc on this. I think flap disc is probably the best way to go. Uh, you can use a regular abrasive disc. Uh, it tends to gum up a little bit more and you end up more melting the material rather than actually removing it. Uh, one of the things I would highly recommend is uh, pressure. Uh, keep it light on it. Make sure that you're actually like sanding away rather than trying to melt through the, the plastic. Uh, it just will make your life easier. I'll make it a little cleaner on cleanup. Uh, make sure you have a space that is going to be capable of handling having a little bit of, uh, of plastic debris. It'll kind of get everywhere. Um, wear safety glasses. Uh, it's molten plastic that's coming off of it, so you definitely don't want that getting in your eyeballs. Uh, and, and yeah, just do it in a well-ventilated spot. Um, so let's get let's get to it and see what's up. Alright guys, so basically what we got going on here is we're starting to actually come through the honeycomb and you can see how these little edges are being left behind. Uh, so you want to be careful at that point not to go too much further. You don't want this to end up, uh, you know, obviously knocking out this. You've got about a, about a quarter inch of material though. Uh, and so what you can do at this point is start actually, you know, working this out by hand. Uh, I got a little bit further to go on some of these to, to make it open up. Um, and I'll show you a little bit in a second um, of how, how each one of those will open up. Alright, so we've got these, uh, these pieces open. Um, and so as you can see, there's a little bit of you know, debris that's left behind on this. Um, <clears throat> and there's a couple ways to do this. Um, it, what I find to be the easiest is using a Dremel with a sanding drum or uh, you know, a light abrasive on it. Um, and then just coming in from the backside and cleaning all that up. Uh, some people don't have access to that stuff. So that's where you can get nitty gritty with a uh, hand file. And you can actually just go through and remove any of that material that's there. Uh, and this is kind of one of those areas that it's going to take a little bit of patience uh, to get the, the look you're, you're going to want. Uh, but it's not too bad. Uh, anyway, as you can see, we start to, to really open that up and make that nice and clean in there. I've gone through uh, with a sander. Uh, you can see that this stuff is some molten plastic uh, that comes off. It's really hard to get it where it doesn't start to melt. Um, ideally, you don't want to melt too much, though. But you can see we're starting to pop through this honeycomb in a couple of spots right here. And so all you got to do is just kind of poke that through with your finger, and, uh, and that material comes right out. And that's where you're going to run the file, your sanding drum, a piece of sandpaper, or whatever, you know, whatever you need to braid that down uh, to open that up a little bit more and make it clean. Now to take this and you work this all the way across this front section right here you're going to want to leave uh for the tv performance products crash bar you're going to want to leave this section closed in this is where the mounting plates are so on either end of this grill just follow this line up all you're going to want to remove is this this section right here uh, as you go through to do the final cleaning on this <clears throat> you know there may be a little pieces that are of up um running an exacto knife down it can also help. Um, I'm just trying to give you guys as many different tools to do this. So, exacto knife, file, sandpaper, 
uh, Dremel, uh, you know, all of them are basically going to involve a little bit of time as you work through this to get that nice finish that you're looking for. Um, but the, the bulk of it is going to be done with the grinder. Something that I noticed uh, doing this, it's been a while since I did it for the, the Fords, uh, is don't, don't hesitate to let it run down further until these really start popping out. Uh, there's enough material here to, to, uh, to let the grinder do a majority of the work so that you have less finishing work to do. Uh, obviously, you know, this, is, this still has, has some finishing to do. I'm just trying to give you guys a demo on how to do this. So I hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, just uh, feel free to let me know. Mm -hmm.